Hello, I'm Ron Palumbo, planetarium educator here at the Hudson River Museum. I know the only distance you're probably thinking about these days is six feet, but I want to take you back exactly 100 years ago to when our idea of distances in the universe changed dramatically. It's 1920. Prohibition has begun, Babe Ruth just became a Yankee, and women will vote for the first time. At the National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. on April 26, 1920, two astronomers had a debate. Their topic was the scale of the universe. Harlow Shapley argued that our galaxy, the Milky Way, was the universe. Heber Curtis argued that the Milky Way was just one of thousands of galaxies in the universe. But back in 1920, nobody was sure what to think. The whole debate hinged on little fuzzy spirals that astronomers began finding in the 1700s. Problem was, they appeared small and fuzzy even in big modern telescopes. Shapley and others thought that these spirals were other solar systems forming within our galaxy. Curtis and another group believed that they were galaxies like our Milky Way, filled with billions of stars but far, far away. Curtis said that the most famous of these spirals, in the constellation Andromeda, was a jaw-dropping 500,000 light-years away. Few could conceive of a universe that big. The great debate, for the most part, was a draw. There just wasn't enough evidence on either side. It wasn't put to rest until a few years later, when Edwin Hubble, using a brand new 100-inch telescope, photographed the Andromeda Nebula and discovered that it was composed of stars. It was another galaxy like the Milky Way. Hubble also calculated the distance to Andromeda. It was three times further than Curtis thought. Today, we know that the distance to Andromeda is five times greater, 2.5 million light years, or 15 quintillion miles. And that's the closest galaxy to ours. It might seem like galaxies are good at keeping their distance, but galaxies like to socialize. They congregate in enormous clusters. Our galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy are part of the Virgo supercluster. To find the Virgo supercluster, face south at around 9 p.m. Look up and locate a group of stars that form a backwards question mark. Just to the left, find three stars that form a right triangle. Let's connect them. This is the constellation Leo the Lion. Now hold your hand at arm's length and make the rock on gesture. The heart of the Virgo cluster is between your fingers. Small telescopes can see about 160 galaxies there, but there are over 2,000 galaxies in the Virgo cluster. Like people, galaxies like to mingle.